The, okay. uh, so depending who your surveyor is, mm -hmm. um, then uh, sometimes they can help you a lot. Step help you through the process too. Okay. All right. Yeah, so we wanted to get it surveyed, and then uh, we'll check our setbacks. And, and, right. and I understand that we should probably do a survey of what's in the neighborhood at the place. It's like 85% are, are already here. And so yeah. there's sort of an average for the neighborhood. Is yeah. in your a, a good suggestion is talk to your neighbors about this. Let them know what you're planning on doing as you get closer so they're not surprised. Okay. And get a feel of what their two cents is. Okay. And people like to be, people. a lot of people don't like surprises like this. What's this about? Okay. Yeah. Whereas yeah. if they know it's coming because you talk to them, well, I have a problem with it. I know what he's doing. So do you then basically survey the neighbors nope. to nope. do that? Which, when you give us the mailing, when you give us the mailing labels, uh -huh. we schedule a public hearing. We send out to all the abutters. And the abutters is everybody within 300 feet of the perimeter of your property. Oh. Okay, so sometimes there's 50 abutters and sometimes there's... Six of butters. It depends entirely on how dense is the neighborhood. And everybody gets a letter and a mail telling them that there's going to be a public hearing for you. This is what your intent is. And that the plans can be viewed in the town clerk's office. Okay. And if they're interested, they act accordingly. If they're not interested, right. nothing. And they're, they're, everybody's entitled. It's an open meeting. So when it comes to the meeting, when the hearing is conducted, mm -hmm. Anybody and everybody can come. They don't even have to be a butters. Okay. It's an open meeting for anybody literally in the world that can come here. And uh, they hear what's going on, voice their opinions, if anything, mm -hmm. we make a decision. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Sounds great. All right. I will have questions. Good. Would you mind if I got your phone numbers now? And, I'll, and I promise I won't call them. <laughs> Just write it down on a piece of paper, Jim, so maybe they don't they want to pick it up on the television. Yeah. I don't know. 413 584 1275. 584 1275. 1275. 586 3973. Still a form of information. I can look it up and call me. Okay. 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 Thank you okay. Very much. okay, good luck. Thank you. Steve Lewis. Uh, good evening. Uh, I've met all of you guys at one time or another. Um, as you know, we're jammed up there room-wise, uh, space-wise, and we need to expand our ability to service customer cars. So we've come up with a plan that we think is okay. We're just here to present it to you. I've got Joe Benjamin, our service manager, who is going to explain what we're going to do. And don't think there's any issues, but we just owe you that to let you know. Okay. okay. Joe sure. Benjamin. How about a brief outline of our business plan here? Um, it's our intention to lease and utilize a portion of the building that uh, was formerly Hadley Auto Services at 97 Russell Street, which is currently owned by Mark Krauss, who I'm sure you all know. Um, we're going to be using the location as a remote site for general automotive repairs as an expansion of our current business. However, the new location will not be open to the public. The facility would consist of four repair bays, three of which would be equipped with electric lifts. The extra lift would be what we call a dry bay, just somewhere to keep the car. Um, there would be no signage or other indications that the site is open to the public. There would be no non-employees entering the facility. We would be using no more than 10 parking spaces at any given time on the property. This would encompass four employees plus up to six customer vehicles. We would begin by performing some basic cosmetic improvements to the interior, painting, refurbishing, uh, either maintaining the existing on-site equipment or acquiring new up-to-date equipment depending upon the condition yet to be determined by respective service professionals. This would include the existing air compressor, waste oil burner, et cetera, things of that nature. Uh, it's currently our understanding that the former Hadley Auto Services sign would be removed and the exterior is going to be painted by the current owner of the property. This would ultimately beautify the site as well. All fluid retention, disposal, and evacuation will be conducted in the same manner as our current location, expanding our environmental services systems contract to include a new location, meaning to say that the company that deals with that currently would deal with that on, at both locations. Um, any vehicles being repaired at the annex facility would be dropped off at our main location, transported to the annex facility, and any and all commerce would continue to be conducted exclusively at our main location. 
at 315 Russell Street. So you're going to just do repair? You're going to, you, okay. You said there'll be no more than 10 vehicles. 10, 10 vehicles total. Total. Yes. Okay. Which is heavy auto service? Which one is that? That's right. Right next to the next old place. It's the ancient one. Next to that What? Charlie Cash, Charlie Cash's old, old repair facility. Next to Esalen. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. So. Across from Carlina. Yeah. Is this so. It, 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 what's this? This, this may be a little bit more complicated mm -hmm. than you're presenting because the owners of that property, or did you buy the property? No. We're, we're the leasing. owners of that property were supposed to come before us with a plan indicating some additional parking. Echelon, as you know, right. has exceeded their parking Correct. and their parking on the common. Well, so, <clears throat> I don't know how we want to handle this. Well, we, we, because we told them that when they come before us, we wanted to have the parking. So it seems like they're, they're throwing you out as the uh, Asking the second lieutenant to go over the hill first and no, see no, who gets no, shot at. No, I, I don't. I, I don't think so. I think okay. um, because when when we went and sat down with Mark, okay, he told us that the planning board had given them so many parking spaces in the his new facility, if you will. And I said, okay, whatever that number is. No, we we never came up with any number. So he's never come to you with no. a plan. No. no. Okay. All right. Well, I'll just ask no. him to do that. Uh, no, that's not his joint. What what our our lease with him will entitle us to ten cars. Now, whatever he comes up with with you, we're entitled to get ten. If if he can park thirty there and only twenty are his, we're gonna have ten. Our cars will not be very rarely will they be there for a long period of time. These these are going to be cars that require, it's not normal maintenance. We're not going to do oil changes and that thing. If an engine needs to be rebuilt and a car is going to be tied up for two or three days, this is where we're going to do it. So the cars won't be moving around other than when a car comes in, it will come in to our current location. We will shuttle it by our employee to this location. Three of them will be allowed inside or four at one time. And we're going to have four employees. I think what Dr. Grog is saying is that not, that's not the issue. Yeah. No, no, no. I, no I, I'm, I'm just explaining, yeah. the, you know, what my deal with him is. Okay? So if he needs to come in front of you guys and, and lay out a parking plan that will allow us to do what we need to do, I'll just pass that on to him. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we just didn't want to have yeah, a problem uh, with yeah. that. If everything goes through, we didn't want to have any issues with you before we did it. I, I think... From Esteban aside, mm -hmm. from what you're planning seems fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. Except but, the fact yeah. that it's owned yeah. by the guy that owns Esteban. Okay, yeah. we'll yeah. get that handled. Yeah. So before we can say you're okay, he needs to come in and give okay. us his plan so that we get this parking issue on Esteban straightened out. It's unfortunately, you're stuck. You're going to stick it stuck in the middle of this. Yeah. And, we'll get it straight around. Yeah. Not, you know. So. Um, because, I mean, he and I have talked, and I didn't know. I mean, he alluded to the fact that I think everybody in the world knows he has a parking problem. And I told him when we were talking about leasing this that I would need 10 spots. And he said, well, that will still allow me to do, which, which I, don't, I don't care what he does. He has to come up with a parking plan, too, okay. because certainly parking within the front 50 feet under the zoning regulations, maybe there is some wiggle room there. But nevertheless, we want to see what he has designated for parking. Okay. Yeah. And also, too, what parking concessions will he make on Echelon to move some of the parking over there, whether it be mm -hmm. for the employees or yeah. you? Will there be enough for everybody? As, as and are you renting the whole building? No, we're renting um, the main garage space. There's one area the, the, that's... Yeah, the westernmost portion. Yeah, yeah, okay. it, it, it's the westernmost portion. It will leave... They had an area that they did state inspections, which was a smaller that's area. Right. Uh, we're not leasing that, and then they've got a, um, a body shop uh, spray booth in the back. We're not leasing that. Plus, the major part of the garage, too, you're probably not leasing that. So, what are his plans? I mean, we have to see what are his plans, because we're looking through the keyhole. We sure. want to see the whole building. Sure. 
So no, I, I have no problem with that. Okay. Uh, you know, I mean, he's he's got to come forward to you. Mm -hmm. uh, we just came to you because we didn't want to go put a lift in and then have you guys say what 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 because we're pretty sure we're okay, but now we got to make sure that that you're okay with him. Yeah. So um, you know, it's just really the intention. We're going to use it for the same things that they used it before before they sold the property. Yep. You heard the comment earlier. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on shame on me. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. kind of how kind of how we are here, unfortunately. So. Okay. 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 So I'll no put problem. Down to be continued. Yeah, I'll talk to Mark tomorrow, okay. um, yeah. and and um, have him plan to come here. Uh, you're here in two weeks. He yeah. can come back. He yeah. can come here and yes. lay it out. Right. Great. We're here July second. We decided to meet on July second. Not yet. We probably will be though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you, John. Have a nice sure. evening. You people are here for the public hearing. Okay. Public hearing. The public hearing, we cannot conduct the public hearing on an election. I know. Okay. It's illegal under state law. We haven't continued it yet for the simple reason that we want to make sure that everybody's available because the uh, applicant wants to know when we're continuing it too. Normally it would be to July 2nd, but July 2nd is right before the 4th of July. We don't know if that's, if we're all going to be here. So I did, couldn't tell, tell him at the time that's what we're going to do. So um, didn't we get an email from him? He requested July 2nd that his, some of his design team will not be available on the 16th. Right, right. But he said the 6th of July 2nd they're available. Okay, so why don't we formally open the meeting? Okay, I didn't read the public. Okay, let's okay. open a public meeting for the TDR portion of uh, Golmar. I didn't read the file. Let me read it. G O E T R. Golmar. G U L M O H A R Realty. Um, for TDR and the continuation of the uh, site plan approval and business use and aquifer. And because that's as far as we can go. Uh, make a motion to continue it to. Is everybody going to be here on July 2nd? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. We'll continue it to July 2nd. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll be out of town. We'll be out of town. Okay. Well, um, we can't schedule a public hearing around a butter schedule, so we'll for it, or can we? I, you know. What, what are your cons? You, oh, we, well, okay. when are you, Okay. Let's look at the other available dates. Um, the applicant says that he will not have full team available on the 16th. Uh, oh. The 2nd and the 16th are, are our meetings in July. July. Uh, August 6th is PVP. Uh, August 6th is our planning session. So that brings that out, throws that out to August 20th. That's way out for them. I'd rather not do that for the applicant. That's that's two one two and a half months away. It's causing hardship, I think. Yeah, that's that's, so, that's tough. Um, we could have a special meeting. Well, be, let's let's hold this thought before we set a date. What are your concerns? Give it your, your what are your concerns on on the TDR portion? I mean, you got you, you voiced your concerns on the other stuff about drainage and everything else. There, those are all still, I'm assuming the same thing. Transfer development rights is what, well, it's a continuation of everything. Yeah, several issues. Not yeah. only that, but the building height. Uh, oh, that's right. We're yeah, waiting we're for, for, yeah you're right. You're waiting for residents. What does building height mean? The definition. You haven't got that definition. We're waiting, well, we didn't have a public hearing. I didn't bother getting well, any information. We, when we talked to our planner last week, you said the building height is the highest point. It's not the mean. It's not right. the average. Right. Yeah. Point. Well, I can't agree with that. But if you look, well, wait a minute. we'll we'll talk about that when we get the definition. Because yeah. the definition he's proposing, it uses that median point. So but that's a different. Yeah, that's a different. Who's proposing it's, 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 it's in the package. package. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. So I then was, maybe we do need to do it for the 16th. I, uh, there, that's he was using. Yeah. Uh, I guess that's the highest let's see. I don't, I can't pull up the planning board email on my phone. Um, yeah. I don't know how critical that is going to be for. Well, I, I also, I, I, I kind of have a suspicion that everything may not be ready on the 16th either. You know, that's enough. We, 
we can probably give them approval on some of the stuff, but not everything. I don't know. Um, um, so the other option would be, we don't have anything scheduled for the 16th yet. Correct. Um, meet on the 23rd? Meet on the 23rd. Let's see if that works. Do you need to pull up the uh, email? Okay. Yeah. Mark. I've got the emails. If you no, know. Why can't they meet on the 16th? Some of their some of their some of their design team isn't available. Well, he should make them available. Well, you know, I mean, there's probably backup. He should make them available. No, no, that's not the correct attitude for us to have. I, I, think, it, I, think, I think it is. We can't bend for everybody. You want to get something done, you'd be here. Then I would say we're going to do it. I'm sorry. No, yeah, we've no. we've always been we've always been very make sure that everybody's available. Yeah. <clears throat> we pull. Whenever we continue our hearing, we always poll, are you all available on this date? So, uh, another option would be to schedule a meeting for the 23rd, which will be... We could, we could simply not have the meeting on the 16th mm -hmm. and have the meeting on the 23rd instead. Yep. Are we talking July? July 23rd. July 23rd, yes. Are you available on July 23rd? I'm available. I believe so. Yeah, at least one of us, I think. Okay. Make that. Let's make the. You, are you available? Are you? Are there anybody on the team? <laughs> I think so. So far. <laughs> Go away after. Yes. That. Yes. Okay. okay. I mean, not the. I don't know. Okay. okay. So. Yoga time, but I'm not sure that's what it is. Okay. So we won't have a meeting on the 16th. We'll have a meeting on the 23rd, which is the fourth Monday of the month, not the third. Do you have the new plans? Uh, hmm? Do you have the new plans somewhere? Yeah, they were supposed yeah. to bring it today. The new the revised plans, some plans. of the things that you had asked for. We, no, they, we do not have anything. What I'll have them do, I'll you may, I'll woof, back up. They were waiting for the continuation date today. Okay. And uh, so I'll email them tomorrow with a continuation date of July twenty third. And I will ask them to bring the plans to the town clerk within a week. So that way you'll have literally almost a month to look at them, at least three weeks. So if you go down to the plant to, to the town clerk, let's say next Tuesday or something, or Wednesday, they should be there, okay? I had a question on the fire hydrant. They said they were gonna move it. Originally, when they put the addition on, there should have been two fire hydrants, mm -hmm. and they only put one in, because I can currently really the old can't fire talk chief. About details but, yeah. but I didn't know where they were going to put it we don't, so don't we don't know. either yeah and, and a lot of times placement of a fire hydrant is 100 percent dependent on the fire chief and them okay we don't that's a fire issue we don't get into whatever if they say they want one two or ten okay well they were supposed to have two they only put one okay. in we really can't discuss yeah. plan details that's yeah. yeah, we're not opening the public hearing for discussion. We're yeah. opening the public hearing for continuation. That's all we can do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, were, were any of you guys around on the planning board when the current hotel was built? Yes. Okay. Three of us. These three right here. Okay. Yeah. And will we get a definition? Well, actually, Sorry. it. We, we, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Will you, will you get a what? Will we get the different? This definition of height is, is sort of, and we went through Boca you, and Mass we, Code and you, the mean and, we're, you know, we're going to try, we will have that for the next public hearing date. Okay. You, you're free to contact the building inspector directly if you want to. Well, if, if you look at the buildings in town, there would be, there's different heights going on. And so I'm curious, you know, that, that's what I think is sort of unusual about this. If one, if, for example, if one building didn't meet that criteria, does it mean a free pass for a second or third building? Yeah. No. No, but unfortunately, it's a matter of whose who's eyes are on it yes. right. when it happens. Of... If uh, you know, we, we miss things sometimes or something, we're told it's okay under the building code, and then we realize after the fact that it really was... But it's not a move to, you look at yeah. each project and it's... Yeah, we yeah, look at each sorry. project okay. individually. Okay. Right. Um, so if there's a mistake made, who's, who's watching over it? Uh, once it gets through permitting, mm -hmm. we have no further authority. It then, all zoning enforcement has to go through the zoning enforcement officer, who is also the building inspector. 
So if someone does something other than what we approve, the only recourse is to ask the zoning enforcement officer to step in. Is that that one guy? That's Tim, right? Yes, that's Tim. 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 Okay. Yeah. So you can't come back to us. Once a project has been permitted and work has begun, we have no more authority. We can't can't stop it, can't revoke the permit. All right. Um, all every, we have we don't have badges. He's the one with the badge. And Tim works for the select board. And so what? he's the building inspector and the zoning. Correct. Right. Because so if he makes a mistake, he's got his own mistake. That, he's, he's, yeah. he's a, he's a yeah. one-man team, if that's yeah. correct. Yeah. 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 Which is not unusual. Because we, we kind of met him about two months ago, and he gave us the impression, it's a rubber stamp deal, nothing's going to change, Hadley likes hotels. And kind of rubbed us the very wrong way. Okay. Well, that's, that's yeah. what can we tell you? He yeah. okay. speaks for himself. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, and he doesn't report to us, says Mike. Okay. So we, we can't really help you there. Um, okay, so we're going to go for the 23rd, just yes. continue it to the 23rd. Correct. Okay. And we won't have one on the 16th for them. Is that your motion? Okay, to cancel. 716 and add 723 and continue both public hearings to 723. Correct. That's the motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Okay, yes. Can I just ask a question? How many jump cars can you keep on your yard? None. <laughs> Seriously. There's only, there is a general bylaw that says... What if it's a business? Down the end of the street, um, Michelson's. Zero. <laughs> Zero junk cars, regardless of the use. If there are, there's, a, there's actually a general bylaw on unregistered motor vehicles. And it doesn't differ differentiate between businesses or anything else. Junkyards are illegal in Hadley. Um, you can have, if you got it for sale or for part or something like that, um, you know, the zoning enforcement office sometimes a little bit, okay, give it to you. He's a little bit leaky. He can be a bit forgiving on that. Mm -hmm. But um, in actuality, General bylaw doesn't allow anyone in town to have unregistered motor vehicles. But the system is entirely complaint driven. As yes. I said earlier, there's no zoning police. No. So, <laughs> go ahead. Um, if you care to, you, you have to make a written, um, make, file a written complaint with the zoning enforcement officer. Um, written? Okay. Yeah, it has to be in writing or he won't respond to it routinely. Yeah. If you do file a complaint with the building inspector, make copies for the, for the board of the town, uh, the selectman, town administrator, and planning board as well. So that it goes to a bunch of departments. But only that department has the authority. Right. There's a lot of stuff coming out from underneath this fence every night when I go every day when I go home. So I'm not sure what's living in there. Yeah, there is at the the last town meeting or the annual or the fall town meeting, there was a special bylaw passed about declaring um, nuisances. And if it can be declared a health or other nuisance, the Board of Health, the police department, and I forgot who else may have jurisdiction to do something. Board of Health, I'm not, I don't remember all the, I don't remember the bylaw that the was fire department was, 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 was recently passed about um, like dilapidated buildings, excessive amount of old cars or vehicles on site, and some other issues, potential issues. Because it seems to be growing and growing. So I just didn't know if he had a used car lot permit or anything. He's like got that. a class two license, I believe. And that would 
if you could find, you could go to see the Board of Selectmen and find out what he's permitted for how many used vehicles, if he's even permitted for any. If he doesn't, I think he has a class two, but I'm not 100% sure. What's class two? Explain Used cars. Me. Class one is um, new cars like Mr. Su Mr. Steve mm -hmm. Lewis. Yeah. Class two is used cars only. And so you can ask uh, Jennifer, who is the Selectman's permitting second. officer and Selectman's assistant, and she keeps those records. She can look it up and tell you he is or is not permitted for class two. She could tell you how many vehicles he's permitted for. Mm -hmm. And then, depending if he is or isn't permitted, then you can file complaints accordingly. Oh, there's, you know, there's a lot of trash that flows up our way, even though it's, and I've already, I've complained about it. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. One quick question. We missed, I think there was a second um, conservation meeting, and I was out of town. Do, is that something I can look up online, if there's anything more about that? Only if they were recorded. Okay. John, you don't you don't take conservation meetings. No. No, we don't. No. No. Okay. But you could, you could ask the town clerk during business hours if there was a conservation meeting okay. and who was at it, but she wouldn't have any more details than that. Thank you. Some minutes. Mm. Mm. What was the other issue we had last month in regards to something, the, the soil depth of three feet versus two feet? Do any of you guys recall that? We can't discuss that here. With the meeting, we're not, we cannot, okay. we're, we're not trying to be wise guys. But I understand. State, state law is very specific that. Right. It, so it, the next it, meeting when you open it, we can then bring yeah, it yes, back. Yes, yes. You can re revisit any of these things. Yes, right. but, uh, yeah. Okay. Or you can call one of us up home and ask us what the topic was. We can't do it here, believe it or not. <laughs> That's just the way the law is written. <laughs> gotcha. well, a lot of or if you want to go online, YouTube, you can look up the last meeting that we had here. Okay. And, and it's on YouTube. Just go to Hadley Planning. Go to YouTube, Hadley Planning Board, and you'll find a bunch of different dates. And you can watch the meeting online on your computer okay. at home at your leisure. Gotcha. And find out all the things that we said this, you said this, and we didn't say this. So, okay. Okay. Very good. Will we be notified by mail? No. Okay. No, this is it. This is it. Yeah. The agenda, you could have maybe saved you some time. The agendas are posted usually by Thursday of the week before the meeting. And there was a notice in the agenda that, the, the, that this would not be a for, this would not be a, a hearing. This would just be a vote to continue. Okay, we just got the letter assumed it was today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, the letter did say today. Well, thank okay. you for uh, taking that our schedule in consideration as okay. well. Appreciate that. Okay, you're welcome. Which we aim to please when we can. <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, we've got some bills to pay. We had just had some. Oh, it's more. Okay. Did you walk in for the. Mike. I'm Mike. Sorry. Mike. Mike. Okay. Uh, Do you want to say anything? Are you Are you available that day? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I guess we'll let them do that. Yeah. Okay. 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 We got a bill to pay for PVPC in the amount of three thousand two hundred eighty dollars and fifty eight cents. Three two eight zero point five eight. Make a motion of that. Second. Any discussion? This is for the uh, routine, uh, our what is seventy-five hundred dollar contract. Yeah, planning services. Planning services. And he was going to get in this fiscal year. Hmm? Yes. And this is to get it in for the uh, fiscal year ends in a couple of weeks. Okay. Motion. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. And we have a payroll for the end of the fiscal year, total of five seventy-five for the five of us. Do I hear a motion to pay it? Motion to pay. Do you have a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. Check from the uh, 
town, they're going to deduct seven dollars and fifty cents for for a pension plan. Now, it may you may run into some trouble as I did because you will have two potential pension plans which you're not supposed to have. There is a, an exemption if you're a town employee as a volunteer as we are. So if you ever get audited, I did and uh, Mrs. Bombardier did as well. So. Okay. What was your other pension? Thank you, Jim. My own. Good. Social, uh, social my and my social social my staff. Social security contract. Your pension? No. Oh no, no. no. It but was this, just. But this is going into over now. This isn't a state pension. It's going into over. It's like an IRA. Are you arguing with me or an Internal Revenue Service? <laughs> well, to be resumed. But the Internal Revenue you caught it for some reason. So there has been a complaint filed. I believe you have all yep. received copies of right. it. It has been filed within, it, it was filed after I had posted the agenda. Right. So there is an exemption for talking about it uh, briefly. Um, uh, I, I think we can put it on our next meeting for executive session. There's no, no rush it, to talk about it tonight. I don't think it even has to go in executive session. There's nothing. There's nothing, mean, there's nothing confidential here. I mean, we're no. not. We're not the defendant. Well, it, it probably explain the, the well, way we we've been sued. We've been well, sued. I've been sued as a member of the planning board. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just, just so everybody knows, you have been sued as a member of the planning board. You need to do nothing. Congratulations. You are under, correct me if I'm, I'm, any of these words are wrong, Will, but you're basically indemnified as you're not being sued personally. You're being sued as a member of the planning board. We are all. And it is up to, um, the defendant to defend this. If he so chooses not to defend it, then it's a done deal and he can't do it. If he decides to pursue the complaint and defend it, then he goes to the proper channels and hires an attorney and acts accordingly. Now the only question I've got on this, and it appears he's suing the entire approval not just the last reopening of the public hearing. Well, we did reopen the public hearing, so it was pretty much... Uh, reopens everything? It pretty much reopens everything. Yeah, because I, I, uh, <laughs> right. I, I got a call today about that, and I says, um, about Tim, Tim says, you know, what? I said, I don't know, Tim. I don't have an answer for that. I said, talk to Joel Barnes and find out what this means. Is, did you forward this to anybody forward this to Joel? I don't know. Okay. I will forward it to Joel to be sure. So, and um, didn't we say that we were restarting everything because I was a new member? No. Oh, no Only that one public hearing was restarted oh, okay. for the raising the roof. Okay. The original approval was done but it was a reopening of the public right. hearing. So it, no. theoretically it wasn't a, it wasn't a new Meet site plan here. approval. It right. was a reopening of the original. So I guess everything could have been on the table. It's an interesting question. Yeah. What the and lawyers speak. Let, 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 let town council decide, respond to because I didn't have an answer for him. I said, I don't know. I says, you know, stop construction. Don't, if you have anything going on, stop. I said, until you get it resolved. I said, that way you, everything is fine. And I don't know if they're, I have no idea what they're going to do. But, you know, it's up, it's, we don't need to do anything but answer questions when they come to us. Well, the if old, they come the to old us. building, as I observed yesterday, has been decapitated. Oh, really? It's, yeah, they, they, they have taken oh, the roof off. So, so then Tim gave them, evidently gave them an approval. Because um, you, can, you can get an approval subject at your own risk to do something before the appeal period is up. You can get a demolition permit even without site right. plan approval. And evidently he gave them whatever he gave them, and they have stopped and moved off the site, waiting for what's going to happen next. So just they didn't stop. Just for clarity, Mark. Um, yeah. <clears throat> sort of the philosophy we have is that the board gave the applicant what the applicant wanted. If the applicant wants to 
keep that, it's up to the applicant to defend it. The only time we get involved, the town council representing the board, is if we deny something. Mm -hmm. And if we are then sued by the applicant for not giving them what they asked for, okay. then we do need town council involved. Okay. But in this case, it will be entirely up to the applicant to deal with the abutter who filed the complaint. If this is an issue that uh, pre-existing non-conforming use, there's a time lapse if it stops being non-conforming and you, you were not on the board when this decision was made. So there used to be a garage with a lot of cars parked all over. Then it was taken over by a gentleman who really restored older cars like Corvettes. And he sold one or two cars there. So what the African, I think it is arguing, Jim, and that's what you were referring to, is that the pre-existing non-conforming use was probably the guy selling a couple of Corvettes a year and then expanding a pre-existing non-conforming use. So that's, I think, the, the crux of the argument. Well, the point is that it was still alive as the original purpose it was built to be used for. So expanding yeah. in terms of so, volume yeah. of sales. And that's yeah. been decided. <coughs> that's, this, that's this, been decided. This, is, this is something that, you know, like Bill, Bill said, the attorneys will have to deal with if they so desire to defend it. And they'll, um, we've been, we once in a great while, usually as either the chairman or the clerk needs needs to give a deposition for something like that. But it's only happened a couple. We've been sued, I don't know how many times, or the, or for for an approval, and we usually not much is required from us. Um, it's usually you know they got the decision, and then it's up to the attorney to duke it out. We had one, only one case where I actually had to go to court. But I can, well, we had a deposition years ago when the, uh, well, no, 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 the, the, uh, farm was small. No, 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 no. Um, the, the, of the horse farm development, uh, the where, Bridge Road. Where they sued the planning board over the uh, building permit limitation. We had a building permit limitation so many a year. Rate of growth. Rate of growth by law. Mm -hmm. And we were sued over that, and that, I had to go to Boston to give a deposition. It took a whole day. And that went all the way to the state judicial court. So what was it? Supreme Judicial, Supreme court. judicial court. And we ended up, we appealed it, and uh, the state and the town appealed it, and we lost in the Supreme Judicial Court. Beyond that, the only place we go would be the Supreme Court of the U.S. We decided, nah, that's not such a good idea. Yeah. And so we didn't, we didn't and that's, that was it. Um, there was one case where we, well, several of us ended up in court, and I ended up on the stand um, for the senior housing where we weren't sued, the developer was being sued by somebody else. Mm -hmm. But somehow we got drawn into it because we approved it and we ended up that uh, the developer won the case and not the person who was suing the developer. In well, the most recently, the most significant was Flat Colleges Inc. sued us. Yeah. So that was on, a biggie. on average, probably this happens every three that to five years. That was the finest moment right there. Yeah. Yeah. We've, I mean, we've been on the board obviously for a long time. We, you can, we've only been sued probably half a dozen, seven times. Yeah, you know that's not that often. So the gentleman that sued, he's in a butter. Did, did he come and represent himself at any of the hearings? Do you recall? He was here. He was, he was? here, okay. but having a uh, speaking role at a hearing is not a prerequisite. No. No. Yeah. No. So. No, I, just, I just wanted. Uh, but yes, he, uh, he was here. At the, uh, you don't have to be in a butter to, to no. sue. No, anybody. anybody yeah. well, yes, you, you're be in a, <coughs> you have to have standing to you sue. You have to have standing yeah. to sue. Typically, you're in a butter or an, you have to be an aggrieved party. So, just hypothetically, because this case, I'm in a butter, but I'm really not an aggrieved party just because I own some land near this. It, it, whatever happens on this site has no effect on the value of my land that abuts it. Um, so I have presumptive standing as an abutter, but I would have to show actual harm, which I can't show. Um, but 
so there there are years, decades of case law on this, um, with all the nuances of who has standing and who doesn't have standing. So, um, but generally, if you're not in the butter, um, uh, there, there was a case uh, came out of Provincetown where somebody was offended that uh, McDonald's was going to be opening anywhere in town. And they filed suit to block the approval of the McDonald's and were um, thrown out of court because they had no Standing. no they agree. personal right. no potential personal injury from the approval. So anyway, that's that's where the where the suit stands. Um, we're you guess we're just, just educating waiting, everyone. waiting. Yep, that's fine. Yep, yep. A um, couple of the items. Uh, just just to, to, to planning commission uh, after your uh, contract. Yep, we'll get to that. Yeah, okay. Yep. Uh, special town meeting is scheduled for October twenty fourth, two thousand nineteen. The warrant is open. They'd like to have all articles by September fourth. I believe we're going to try to have a couple. Going to hopefully have the MS four one. Our first meeting is tomorrow on that. Um, hopefully we can get that done in the next couple of months. And. Possibly we'll have something on definition. That remains to be seen. Mm -hmm. um, Finance committee, just general information, tomorrow, June 19th, at 5 p.m. in the town hall. We have our meeting with the select board of selectmen that starts at 6.30 tomorrow, that we're all scheduled to be there. We've got an agenda posted just to cover our bases. Um, okay, Bill. Contract? Okay. Uh, yes, we have a contract from the Pioneer Valley Planning Commission for local planning assistance for fiscal year 2020, which begins July 1 okay. of 2019. And uh, it is the same contract that we have signed periodically. Uh, so I'll make a um, uh, motion to authorize the chairman to sign. Do we have three copies? Uh, no, I just have one here. Okay, I'll make three copies of sign. Okay. Uh, chair to sign PVPC FY20 contract. Perhaps we should explain to Mark how we began to use the Pioneer Valley Planning Commission as our consultant. It probably started way back when we had the initial Long Range Planning Committee. There was a group of people in town that wanted a town planner, similar to Northampton and Amherst. And uh, the compromise was that we don't need a town planner. It would be very expensive because the town planner usually has an assistant, a secretary, and the staff, and it becomes very expensive, and that was one of the reasons. And the other reason is we were still competently able to handle it, but the uh, Pioneer Valley was going to offer some services in crafting bylaws so that it would conform to the state statute, and so we wouldn't have to do a lot of running around like we used to. So this is what, what the... I call it a compromise. Some people didn't call it a compromise, but nevertheless, that's how we did take advantage of the Pioneer Valley. And once we took advantage of it, I think several other towns are doing snowball because a lot of towns just don't need a town planner, and they can use uh, services, however, for some fine. expertise. I went, um, I went to their annual meeting. Oh, you did, yeah. And, uh, got their information. You said something about their meetings alternate between Springfield and Hadley? Yes. Where in Hadley? Do they the uh, Hadley Meeting House. Oh. It's a um, buffet followed by a business meeting. Yeah. And the Springfield ones are at the um, their main office, which is in the North End. Okay. Uh, so we have a motion to authorize Jim to sign. Do we have a second? Second. Motion second. Any other discussions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes 5-0 unanimously. Speaking. Okay, I'll, make, 
of PVPC, if I may, um, the um, Tim Brennan is retiring, and there is a special meeting next Thursday to uh, select his replacement. One of the candidates is Wayne Feiden, who is the planning director of the city of Northampton. The other candidate is a woman who is uh, planning the regional planning agency head for the area that served Reno, Nevada. And every town has one vote, uh, and Mark, you are going to be able to make it. Yes. I'm going to be out of town. Uh, I did get some material, I don't know if I forwarded it to you, about the background of each of them. Yes. You got that? Okay. So, um, um, just... Uh, Do you have to be a political hack to get the job? Uh, it's probably helps. You don't have to. Uh, okay. uh, so every, every PVC rep... Or every, every, every town, every one town vote? gets one vote. Okay. Well, by the way, Franklin County does not use the PVPC. I noticed that. I saw yeah. that. Yeah. Frank, Franklin County Council of Governments is the planning agency in Franklin County, uh, as opposed to Hampshire County. But H. was not. PVPC represents Hampshire and Hamden. Does it represent anybody in Berkshire? No. No. So just Hamden and Hampshire counties. And not everybody, as far as I know. The Hampshire County did have a regional planner, and uh, it was kind of a wild card, so it was... Uh, way back, before the, when it was really a county. Way back, yeah. They were, they were trying to compete head-on with the Pioneer Valley Planning ah, Commission. Exactly correct. Uh, but they were not able to get traction. What, what was his name? I don't remember. I, I, well, as far as I can tell, the Hampshire Council of Governments maybe has $400,000 left. And they haven't let anybody off yet. They're charging ahead. Okay. Sir, sorry to interrupt you guys. Uh, yep. I have a question for you quick. Uh, I'm here to get the copy of my home subject system. It's called Blueprint or something like, like that. I don't know where I need to go. Like. Uh, that would be the Board of Health, probably, Board which meets health. on the first floor. First floor. Yeah. As you walk in the office, walk in the front door, the right in the, on the first office on the right. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. We have any, I mean, obviously, making the decision of who to, who to put your vote in for is up to you and Bill because we don't, I mean, I barely know Wayne and I don't know the other candidate at all. I don't love Wayne. I've never met him, so I'll, unless you have an opinion, I'll be just looking at their CDs. Yeah, I'm, I, I really don't in, in this case. Uh, you know, Tim has been at the helm for 30 plus years um, and um, like a master of it. Mm -hmm. so um, I don't know if anyone can really compare to to him. No one's going to fill his shoes now. Um, yeah. Tim lived in Hadley the entire time. All right. North Hadley. Yeah. Huh. We won't hold that against him. Yeah. We're going to make these geographical <laughs> We are at the end of so, um, Okay. Leave it up to you to who, to who to put your vote in for, because hey, the best candidate is an unencumbered delegate. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Um, so we did get, uh, I don't want to spend a lot of time on them, but we did get um, some, definitions. Some, uh, some definitions from PVPC. Yeah. Now, the, this set of definitions that, you got, that we got highlighted is, is, I believe, another town's. Not, so not necessarily what they're recommending for Hadley, it's just the format of what this other town did, because a lot of the words in here we don't even have in our zoning <laughs> definitions. But I think they're just using this as a format, like we were talking about at the last meeting about, you know, do we put them all in one section or different sections? They put everything in one section, but they highlighted what has come out of various sections so that you can tell. This goes to the adult use, this goes to here, this goes to there. And I kind of like that. I do too. It's a, lot, uh, it's a lot easier than trying to wade through every definition. Right. And 
I, I think putting it in one spot the way they've done it makes sense. Yeah, you only turn the page to one place. Well, you, but you know, lean past the highlights. In other words, they've got adult uses, so everything that pertains to adult use has adult, adult, adult as a prefix, mm. so that when you go to alphabetically look for it, it's all right here. And if it's not in, if, if it's not a, in the adult section, it's not really defined. Same thing with auto related and on and on. Mm. And I think I like that. I mean, at least it's it's it breaks it down. But it breaks it down clearly, so you can find the stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'd be in favor of recommending to uh, Ken that that's how we want to proceed, so he has a starting point. Has anyone looked at it? I haven't seen it. Okay. Uh, yeah, and we're not actually looking for a vote or anything oh, okay. on yeah. it so much as just mm -hmm. a... Uh, you guys like it. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to like it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So also, all the definitions are going to be in one spot. That's the way he. That's the way this is put together, and which, it, which is the example he was giving us from the other. other right, and, and the way he this is done, it, it it's clear. Yeah. Well, clear. Okay. okay. So. Yeah. So, for example, the the issue I had was if you wanted to um, look up accessory apartments and it's those definitions, you don't want to have to get bogged down going through everything about large scale ground mounted solar. In yeah. this one, something like solar would have its own set-off section right. with all of those definitions taken from the solar article and put into the definitions article, but kept together and not broken out alphabetically. Yeah. Uh, so and there's some things like, yeah, there's senior housing, there's marijuana, there are a bunch of things that... I mean, I guess the other option would be to have a general definition and then special sections would at the, at the beginning of their section have their particular... That's pretty much how it's set up right now. Yeah. Because we didn't have a general definition section, so everything we have a, a definition subsection of every new article that we've been doing. But it does make sense to have a general definition section. But that was the real... Pro this is just the reason we were, we were groping for an answer. And, and it looks like he gave us one here. That uh, um, that this this really makes it manageable if we can just keep like kind things together. Is there a different highlight for say adult use and one for solar, or it's just highlighted means it's it's a particular section? The way he's got it defined here is adult uses and it's highlighted okay. and everything that uh, pertains to adult use has adult as a prefix, a prefix. and when you get to um, auto related everything related to auto automobile has auto as a prefix and so on so that it's kind of like you know although there are some related definitions that aren't grouped that way mm -hmm. okay yeah, yeah. Like, um, we can, well, we, if we can get it close, we can start to define, we can, we can fine-tune that out. So, so I think I forwarded this to everyone. Okay. Um, yeah. But it's, it's like 10 pages, so it's a lot to print out. Yeah. Um, but um, it's also, uh, I can forward it again. You know, sometimes I just miss a tab okay. because they're all the way at the bottom of the thread. Okay. Um, general information for everybody. This is also for anybody listening in out on the TV or YouTube or wherever it may be. June 25th, 2019, 6 to 8.30 p.m. in Hopkins Academy, there will be a presentation by MassDOT on the Route 9 corridor reconstruction. And John's not here to tune in on this. So, what's that? Twenty-five percent design. Twenty-five percent area. design. So it's about what they're planning to do with Route Nine, from East Street up to, I believe it's the malls, just shy of the malls. Uh, the B forty three Transit Authority. Uh, it doesn't give the exact location, but according to this map, so from it's from East. Office. It's from East Street. Or actually, this is no, from River Drive, the center of town, River Drive, all the way to Route 116 uh -huh. is the area they're going to be covering. It's a past the okay. okay. But the construction work is going to be pretty much from town hall to the malls. That's that. Right, okay. That 
But that, that, one goes to, that one goes to 116. Okay. Is that yeah. going to be the three lane, middle yeah. turning lane design? Correct. Yes. yes. With, bike that, with, with, bike, with bike lanes and uh, sidewalks. 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 No rotaries? <laughs> Um, that'll, uh, those that's that's going to happen in 20 years. <laughs> that's, 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 over 20 years. that's over at 91. It's supposed to be, <laughs> however it's supposed to do that. We don't, even, we don't have any information on that. And when you ask Northampton, they don't either. Mm. So it would be... Well, nobody could complain then. It would be an interesting thing to ask at this meeting. What, what's going on with the rotary? I don't, I don't know if they'll <laughs> digress that much. We'll see. It's, it's a rotary we have complain about. A roundabout is okay. Yeah. 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 Um, do you have uh, something? Yeah, just the agenda tomorrow night. The thing about the riverfront recreational vehicles, who has jurisdiction over that? Is it a zoning issue? Can we it play? is a zoning bylaw. At the, present. At present. The Zoning Board of Appeals grants the permit, and the Zoning Enforcement Officer enforces it. Mm -hmm. No one has come for a special permit to have a trailer down there in the last several years. Maybe one. They just put them there. So they just put him there. Yeah. And the only time there was a legal battle was way back when I was the chairman was uh, Mitch's Marina uh, when it was transferred to the different parts of the family. Yeah. Only seven to, or nine were grandfathered in. There must be 19 there now. Yeah. And Jim and I attended the woman that's representing FEMA from the state agency in a flood way that is adjacent to the river, FEMA does not allow any trailers. So, if, if we don't enforce the bylaw as to those trailers, and we are exempt from participating in any federal program. That's exactly the way they have the sanctions written. No federally right. insured right. lending institution, right. no federal flood insurance, That's nor right. any federal contracts that may pertain to the mm -hmm. town. If, if, if they decide to enforce it. Yeah. And there's a whole bunch of other things that she talked about per pertinent to that topic. And I think the reason one of the selectmen was at that meeting, I think that's why they put it on that agenda, because um, there might be some concerns about the way it's being addressed. And, and we'll leave it at that. And one point that I was clear to me, and maybe Bill can help us out, uh, he said, if you don't enforce it, the town is liable. What are we liable for? That is a question I think we'd have to refer to town council. Um, Chicken. That's above you, Blind. Liable for what? I, yeah. That's exactly yeah. my question. Joel yeah. Bard gets the big bucks for a reason. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, you know, it, anyways. But there is a concern yeah. about So, anyways, anyways, June 25th, 6th. PM to 8:30 PM at Hopkins Academy for those that are interested. I'm sure you might be more. It's a Tuesday. June 25th. Tuesday. Tuesday. June 25. So it's next Tuesday. Week from today. Week from week from tonight. So, um, probably you and I will be addressing this review of the SWOT analysis, yeah. Bill. Okay. We don't have to bring everybody else on it. Strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats? Yes. Yeah. I mean, we've, heard, we, the only thing we, well, we, we've updated that. We don't need to do that again. Um, so, we can talk about it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I will, uh, I, I'll send you that as well. We did it a few years ago. Um, a couple of more things I wanted to just mention. Um, one of the other things that uh, we got in that package with the definitions were the uh, scope of services for the past 10 years or so. Go back to uh, fiscal year 2006. So 2005 was when they first started at least accumulating these. Um, and this was longer. This was like 22 pages. I, I just flipped through it. Um, and I found a couple, a lot of things that were done, um, but a couple of things that uh, maybe we might want to uh, might want to take uh, another look at. Um, so I would encourage everyone to, you know, just go through it and maybe highlight a few things that uh, 
And also, it's a, it's a good review. This is what we attempted to get done under our planning contract with the Planning Commission for the last 12 years. Uh, I don't think we ever got more than, it's, it's kind of like the uh, curriculum in a uh, math course or whatever. If you, if you get more than halfway through the uh, curriculum by the end of the year, you're lucky. Um, so we never did approve everything, but we did work on a number of things. Uh, for instance, we were, talk, we were talking about updating special permits for decades, and we haven't gotten, gotten anywhere on that. Um, but it's also um, scope of work, good thing to look over just to uh, maybe pick out some things from there that you'd like to not let slip through the cracks. Coffee or you can have that. And that document that you're holding, do we have that? Yes. Okay. I'll go send a, uh, I'll, I'll do a resend as a cluster of the things that we've been working through over the last couple of weeks so that you can all have your copies. Yeah, it's every, uh, just February, it's been in Holy Cross for a couple of years. I've got a symposium going. You know, hot topics. It's not a few things. Every, what is it? Is, what is it? Is it November or is it in? The one I went to was, I think, was in like the, the fall or the spring. It was, no, it was, but it, I what, it was but it's like a, it's like a luncheon. Oh, I know. It's November because it's apple season, and we got some apples in the wind back, so that's good. Okay, so that's it, 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 we're, it's usually Holy given, Cross. but the other one is, all, is given at, I've been to one at uh, um, Log Cabin, and there's a couple of people that speak. One of them is a uh, zoning attorney, and he's spoken at a few of these recently. And he, you know, there's a lot of good information that he gives out. So I think that's the one that is sponsored by the building officials. Yes. Yeah. So Tim will let you know when that's coming around. Yeah. There is also um, a program, uh, what, uh, or whatever the one Citizen is. Planner Coalition or something like that, that uh, has, runs freestanding programs, but Pioneer Valley Planning Commission sponsors at least one or two a year, and uh, attendance is included in our membership in PVPC. Okay. But the one, uh, one in Worcester, we've got a significant educational budget, and they cover it. Okay. Yeah. It's, uh, it's only 25 bucks. That's in November, you said? I think it's in November, late October, November, yeah. Uh, if it's early enough. Usually yeah, there, there, there's some pretty good ones out there, and there, there's, it's like, it's I mean, it, a lot of times it's review, if you've been to one or two, they're good for quite a while. Yeah. But Cit going to the first one is quite educational. Yeah. No. Citizen yeah. Planner Training Consortium, CPTC. Um, they have a full full schedule of uh, events, but they're spread out all over the state. The thing I just said about not being eligible to any, for any federal grants, if you, you don't abide by everything, I picked that up there. I picked something up. Okay. So, uh, we haven't actually decided what we want to do about July 2nd. Oh. I think we Everybody's said around. We're Everybody's here. around. But wouldn't that normally be a PVPC? Yeah, we, they're not, we, they're, Ken will not be here because he said he can't make it. And right. it's so close to the holiday, we said forget it. Right. Um, and we, we're waiting, we're really working. He, he's working on a definition of the NDMS for it. Simultaneously, because we got like we got our first MS forum group meeting tomorrow with planning board, PVPC, building, conservation, uh, DPW, and uh, Tim. Is that with the select board? Is that Thursday's meeting? No, that's tomorrow at noon time. That's for eleven o'clock. Oh, that's for the, we use right. I was going to offer the idea that we do the second and the fourth. I'll be away on the night, so I won't offer that either. Well, I mean, well, uh, do we have anything for the second? 
we don't have anything that I'm aware of um, to get on the agenda. Of a public hearing for the second would have been filed on June 4th. So we don't have anything that was filed. Um, I guess we could look at. Um, Makes sense that gets us here. So uh, takes. I'll, I'll be away on the eighth and ninth. But oh, you're going to be away on the ninth. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, we don't have anything that requires a supermajority pending. Right. So, so um, you get all four, right? So we would have four. Um, uh, I mean, I'll make a motion to do that. What that to meet on what? the. Second and fourth Tuesdays of July. So July. it's the ninth and twenty third. Ninth and twenty third. Everybody else available? Just for general information. Wow, as of now, second. Hmm? I'll make the second that. Okay. Eight, uh, second and yeah. the ninth will be strict. The ninth will be strictly okay. by the looks of it. Well, it will be only general information because we have nothing else to talk about. Yeah. Depending on what we find out with MS4, and I mean, yeah. even excuse me, tomorrow night we can talk about something if it comes up. Yeah, no, we can. Uh, I, I can post the agenda. We can we can have we can yeah. put these things back on just for further okay. discussion. Yeah, that's um, fine. Okay, so we get a motion and a second to meet on July 9th and 23rd, and none meeting, no meetings on the 2nd and 16th. Motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Okay. Very good. Anything else? I have nothing else. Anything else? Motion to adjourn? So moved. All in favor? Second. Aye. Aye. Meeting of history. Thank you and thank you, John.